Hi guys, today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me. It's going to be a long one. You probably already noticed. I'm putting on my e.l.f. primer. This is the mineral face primer. I'm just about out of this one, so I'm trying to use it up. Anyways, I am doing a chit chat get ready with me because I thought I would kind of let you guys just talk to you guys and um, plans that I have for the new year, what I have planned for this channel. I think it's about time I get on a schedule <laughs> you know what I mean like um on my nails by the way I messed up two of my nails I'm so upset right now anywho this is my Manny um these two right here are this one right here which is the Revlon color stay in Showtime this is the gel envy line it was on clearance last week so I picked it up at Target and then on the other two the other three actually I have uh, simple colors. Let's talk. This is a gorgeous nail polish. I, it's so gorgeous. I wanted to kind of chat with you guys and you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see as well. Um, I make videos that I enjoy making but I also want to try to make videos that you guys want to watch. I've had a couple um, a couple requests. I had a request for a manicure at home after my mani video and thought I would do that. I need to start working on that. I've never done a manicure video before so or a nail like painting my nails or anything like that on camera. So I have to find out like the angle and stuff and figure out how that's going to go. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I like it for winter because it's it helps my skin look a little bit more hydrated than it is. I'm using the Real Techniques angled, uh, what's this called, sculpting brush. So like I was saying, I had a request for a manicure at home video, which I am going to work on in this coming new year. I just have to figure out, I've never done, you know, like a nail video or anything like that. And I need to figure out lighting and angles and stuff like that. Which by the way, I bought two fluorescent lights for my track lighting. I'm hoping that it looks good. On the viewfinder, it looks okay. I don't have a lot of lighting in this room, which sucks. I have like the tiniest little window in front of me. To where at the other place, I had a massive window. And um, so now I'm having to look on to, you know, artificial lighting. But if it works for now, it works. I'm going to try to look into lighting. I prefer natural lighting. I feel like everything looks, I don't know, like in real life, I feel like when you're going into artificial lights, it kind of changes things and mm, not, you know, I think it looks really nice. I just feel like it doesn't really show the true colors of like the shadows and things like that. This foundation, of course, is a little light for me. Um, a while ago, somebody asked for... A makeup collection video uh, which I think is nice I just don't want people to take it as a bragging video you know what I mean but if you know me then you know that I'm not that kind of person um, I can make the collection video it's fine I don't have a problem making it I just don't want people to get offended by it and also what I've been doing recently is uh, uh, doing my kind of uh, my makeup basket on a weekly basis just because it kind of forces me to reach for things that I don't use on a regular basis because I feel like when you have a lot of stuff you forget some products go into the back burner especially if you're you know constantly buying stuff you're really excited about new products and then you forget about the old stuff and what I want to do is do a weekly basket for me. I got that idea from Adriana Piña. If you like weekly baskets, I'll link her channel down below. But she does a weekly basket every single week. I think she posts Sundays or Mondays or something like that. And she posts like what she's going to be wearing for that weekend. For her, it's convenient because... So like I was saying, for her, it's convenient in the mornings because she doesn't want to be looking for or digging through her things. You know? And... For me, it would be more of, okay, I need to use products. Seriously, need to use products that I haven't used in a while. So, 
let me know what you guys think i want to do it i'm going to start off i think on sunday and try to have that be my monday video i'm really horrible with schedules and <laughs> like i just i'm rebellious by nature i don't do very well with like you have to get this done by this date <laughs> so i'm gonna try that was the uh maybelline what is this called better skin i got a bunch of makeup recently oh i have a few hauls so let me know if you guys want to see that as well i don't want to overload with hauls because it's the holiday season you know so you get gift cards and things like that so i already had a bunch of things on my list to purchase so let me know if you guys want to see that i have a bunch of nail polishes that i recently purchased and i want to do a haul on that but you guys let me know if you want to see it i also have sephora mac and ulta haul and uh so let me know if you guys want to see that as well and I'm just setting my under eyes with my e.l.f. High Def. I love this. Okay, I saw somebody say the other day uh, or a few days ago that NARS is discontinuing the translucent powder, their brightening powder, the pressed one. I hope they don't because I really like that powder. But if all else fails, I always have this, you know. And I'm using the Smashbox... Uh, this is their halo powder. Uh, it's really nice for the winter right now, but it's so messy. Like, you have to trim this thing and shave it, which is why I don't use it all that often. I tend to use it mainly in the winter months because it doesn't flatten out your face. And my face is already a little dry and dull in the winter, so... I'm just going to apply that everywhere else so hopefully you guys had a really good holiday we stayed home we try to stay home for the holidays not drive around because we have the girls and i feel like people are drinking and i just don't feel safe in the streets it's so sad i've been using the it cosmetics brow power recently just pluck my brows too and trim them and everything because they were looking beastly i don't know let me know if you guys struggle with your brows like i know i have brow hairs but my brow hairs are they're not straight they curl so some of them like if you look at an angle i just trim them they're like sticking up because they they legit curl it's insane which is why i struggle with like brow gels they don't tame them as well. I mean, some of them work a little bit better than others. But for the most part, I do struggle because, you know. Hello. I need a mirror. So for the most part, I do struggle because nothing seems to tame them as well. And I'm just lightly filling in. This is in uh, Universal. This is really nice. But I feel like where I don't have a lot of hair, it ends up looking super light and a little warm. And I don't like that. So, I just brush it out. I love the texture of this brow pencil. And it's really neat though. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, it goes thinner this way and then it squares off right there. So I feel like you have to work with it. I feel like one looks darker than the other one. Whatevs. For the brows I'm going to use Benefits Give Me Brow. This product lasts forever. Like I'm just waiting to finish it off. <laughs> but it never, it never does. This is good for your money kind of product. It looks, the tube looks super tiny but it goes a long way. I tried recording this morning a little kind of um, tryout for the makeup basket. Oh my gosh, disaster. Like, my hand was shaking everywhere. My camera is pretty massive, so it's just, it was a mess because I was like, mm, you know, like shaking everywhere. It was insane. So, and then I tried recording it with my iPhone, and then my storage was full. And I could have sworn that I just cleaned it out but because of the holidays you know we took videos and pictures and stuff like that so I need to kind of clean that out once again um so 
maybe I can do it on my iPhone and not even have to edit and just kind of show you. The way Adriana does it is she just goes through everything. She doesn't even edit anything, which is amazing. So I would love to aim for something like that. I just feel like I chat too much. Like right now, I'm at 15 minutes and I haven't even done my eyes, but you know what I mean? Like my eyes are the rest of my face. <laughs> just a little chatterbox. Yeah, but it, it, it's so much fun to watch and see what she has. And in a sense, you guys can actually look at my collection that way too because I'd be aiming at the drawers and, you know, going through each and every category of makeup. So if you guys happen to see anything in that and that you guys want me to try or whatever or review, then I can do that. That way it's... I mean, it's fun for me, but it's also helpful for you. For the shadow, I'm going to use the Lorac. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I feel like you can't see anything. I'm using the Lorac Pro. And I'm going to grab this craft brush right here. And I'm going to go in for this one right here, which I use the heck out of. That one I think I've dented the most out of any of the shadows in this palette. I'm looking forward to doing a uh, a Manny video. It's so much fun. I love painting people's nails. Every time somebody comes over my house, my friend, my girlfriends or something, can I paint your nails? <laughs> At work, when I used to work, the girls used to come to my desk so I could paint their nails. That's how, that's how it was when I used to work. I kind of miss it sometimes to be quite honest with you, but you know, when I think about if I was to go back to work, what I'd be missing with my kids and it's nice, you know, you get the extra cash and stuff, but I don't know. If I can stay home, then I'm going to try to stay home as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to reach in for, I think, this shade right here. I hardly ever use it. I'm a huge fan on my lips, but somehow I don't really reach for them. Then I'm going to reach in for this shape labeled taupe, which I love. And concentrate that on the crease. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a, a MAC pigment. I used it for Christmas and that's what I had on my eyeballs. Okay, so I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about as well. I wanted to share with you guys the YouTubers that I have been watching obsessively. Like, I'll watch a video and then go down the list. It's, it's so funny. Uh, one of them is called Beauty Junkie 101. And I watch her reviews. Uh, I love her reviews because she's super honest. And yes, I've been adding this color for... Uh, a minute. I tap a little bit. Like I'll add little bits at a time because Lorac, like it, the fallout is insane. But anyways, um, her reviews are super honest. I feel like with reviews, it's very tricky. I do not trust people. <laughs> it's so sad because, you know, when you're watching a review, you want people to be a hundred percent honest. But I feel like. I'm not saying everybody, but I feel like you can tell. I can tell. Like, if there's an abundance amount of reviews on one particular product and all the bigger YouTubers got that product, I can. I feel like I can't really trust majority of them because they're all saying the same thing. And, um, like, there's no way that that many different skin tones, skin types all agree with the product 100%. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, because one product doesn't cater to everybody, you know? So when a lot of people are saying the same thing and it's kind of repetitive and they really don't have very much to say about it, it makes me doubt it. I don't know, do you guys feel that way about it? Because that makes me sad because I watch people too. And I didn't feel that way before, but now I feel like you can't really trust people. You know what I mean? And I don't know, I just don't really like that so that's why I like watching her because she's super honest and yeah I just feel like I can trust what she's saying so I'm grabbing the Naked Matte Pigment here and I'm just gonna start applying it to my lid area 
and Nikki Murphy is another one that I feel she's really honest. I really love her honesty. I mean, she's kind of transparent with, not kind of, she is transparent about her reviews. Like if somebody sends it to her, she will let you know that they sent it to her. Um, you know, if she makes money off of it, she will let you know if she makes money. Like, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people do that. And she's also very honest about her life. She's not really too worried about whether you're going to agree with her life or not. You know, I just feel like a lot of people are so, they try to be so politically correct here on YouTube. I also really like, uh, oh, what's that? She's a nail polish. Uh, hold that thought. Karina Kaboom. And uh, I like her nail polish videos. Her nail polish swatches. Love her. I've also been enjoying, uh, well, for a while now. I watch this lady continuously, like religiously. She's so stinking sweet. Her laugh is so contagious. It's a Christian game. Super sweet. I found out about her a really long time ago through uh, Emily Noel. And ever since then, I actually watch Christian Game more than I watch Emily's videos now because, I don't know, I just do. I don't know. There's something about that lady that I just adore. She's super sweet. She's just one of those people that I just feel like, you know, we'd be buds. You know, we could get along and stuff like that. So, really enjoy her a whole lot. And then I'm going to grab... Uh, a smaller brush. I'm gonna grab this shadow right here and I'm just gonna apply it. I'm just gonna apply it. I also really love a love tart. I've mentioned in a video before that I really enjoy her video. She's just so sweet and um. I don't know. I look forward. You know when you look forward for a YouTuber to upload a video? That's how I feel with her. Like, I really like her a lot. I'm grabbing Sable and applying that to my outer. I wonder how the lighting is in this video. I don't know. At real time right now, I'm at 26 minutes, which is not awful, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to tight line a little bit up here. Ooh, what other channels am I enjoying? BuzzFeed. I love those. <laughs> I love their videos. They're really good. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim. I don't like this. I feel like my lids are way too crepey, I think it's called. And um, it just, it tugs at my eye. And I'm not a huge fan. Like I need a little bit more flexibility. My ultimate favorite liner is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I've been using that for years and I love it. Ooh. With this one, I feel like I can, do you see that? It's so firm. <gasps> I think I did it too thick there. Yeah. Okay, my eyeliner got a little thick at the top, but it's reality. It's not what I wanted, but it happened. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna use Bahama Mama. I'm pretty sure I'm way over 30 minutes now, and it's not what I had in mind. So I'm gonna start speeding this up. I feel like it's not warming up my forehead, or am I just not seeing it because of all the lights? My neck, I'm grabbing my Real Techniques blush brush, which I adore. I use this brush to death, like, I get it so dirty. And I don't wash it as often. It's so pretty. 
And then what I've been liking to do is put the Sony Kashuk. Uh, this is the Glow Cheek Luminous Bronzer. So you get a little luminous blush and then a uh, luminous bronzer. So what I've been doing is grabbing this right here, a little luminous part, and just applying it over top. Like, how pretty. And then you don't even need a highlight. Because this gives you that glow. Can we just appreciate that for a second? Oh, and I'm using this, um, it's a Stella 01 brush. I've had this forever, and I think I bought it at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. It's so stinking pretty. This is really pretty. I love it. And then for an added highlight, I'm going to grab Lightscapade from MAC and just right there. And I'm going to keep that up here. I'm not going to blend it down to my cheeks like I normally do. It's so pretty. And then I'm just going to try to blend out. I feel like on the viewfinder it looks intense. In person, not so much. For liner, I am going to use for my waterline. I think I'm going to use this Urban Decay Pencil in Smoke. And it's going to help with that whole transferring situation here. I've only been using these two mascaras because I got rid of so many mascaras last time and I feel like <laughs> I need to go pick up mascaras now. I'm going to apply this off camera because I feel like I've taken long enough already. Okay, so I got mascara all over myself as usual. I think I'm going to use this. Um, it's called Meat Matte Hues and this is called... Adoring like how gorgeous is this color? It's so pretty I think this lip liner is a little too burgundy for This one right here, but we shall see right now. This looks so pretty. Oh Yeah, it's way off I have to bring it down It's more of like a terracotta burnt red. How pretty is that? That's a beautiful color. Let me set my face. And I'm also finishing up the D-Slick face spray here. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and hopefully this video made sense I think I was all over the place because I was trying to say just talk to you guys a whole lot wow I got mascara transfer right there no um, but either way I hope you guys enjoyed it I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye